Overhyped. Way overhyped. How's it? Welcome to Tama Takes Reviews. My name is Sean Tama. This is where I give you my take behind her eyes. This was trending on Netflix about a month ago when it first came out or whenever it came out. I'm not entirely sure when, but it was also trending on uh, on Twitter. Everyone said it was a great twist, amazing twist. No one saw it coming. Everyone's blown away. I had a coworker say the same thing. Could not disagree more. The first problem is that it's six episodes. The first three, you don't even, you, we didn't need it. They could have told the first three episodes in probably 20 to 25 minutes. The basic plot of this show, we have Louise who meets this guy David in a bar and then find out later the next day that she's her, that he is her new boss. I feel like I've seen that opening before several times in other shows. Grey's Anatomy comes to mind. So nothing new there. But then the next three episodes, we don't really, they try to put stuff in there to make you wonder and care because this guy David is married to his wife whose name is Adele and we go into her backstory. We get a little glimpse of that in the first couple episodes. And then for the most part, it's Louise and David having an affair. That's the first three episodes. And you don't really learn much of anything. You just kind of know that he's kind of controlling with his wife Adele but he's also having an affair, so he's an asshole. She's having an affair with a married man. She's not a good person. And Adele, I don't know if they want you to try and feel bad for her, but she's not likable either. She's acting weird. She doesn't, you can't really tell what she's up to. You kind of know something's off. And in the few first few episodes, they have Louise, I guess she sleepwalks. And so, I also forgot to say, uh, in the first, at the end of the first episode, Adele, and Louise have a chance meeting and they start to form a relationship as well, a friendship. And at first Louise is hesitant because of what happened with David, but then she realizes, no, I want both. I want the best of both worlds. So she starts this friendship. She starts to hang out with Adele as well as having the affair with David. So, I mean, is that a good person? I, don't, I mean, you tell me. Throughout her hang out with Adele and telling her that she sleepwalks and whatnot, Adele kind of tells her, oh, kind of teaches her to almost to control her dreams, to be able to control her dreams. And there's a door she goes through. Whereas in the beginning when she's sleepwalking, it's in this dark, almost haunted hallway. But Adele's like, no, you can control it and you can make a door appear and you can dream of whatever you want. It can be nice, it can be happy, you can be with whoever you want to be with. Then we get to the second half, four, five, and six. This is when the backstory of Adele comes more into play with her friend Rob, who I think they met at some psych psychiatric, I don't wanna say hospital, but psychiatric home, but it's either way, they form a friendship. Again, not very interesting because Rob isn't a good dude either. Then we get to episode five. And I'm going to spoil this for you because I don't think you should waste your time watching this, uh, this show. So if you don't want spoilers, I'll put a timestamp on when you can come back. In episode five, it's revealed that when Adele goes to sleep and when Luis is now able to go to sleep, a little ball of light leaves their body, their soul. They don't say this, but I'm gonna say assume. I was always assuming it's their soul. They can go and they can go wherever they would like. As long as they can picture it in their mind, they're good to go anywhere they want. So in episode five, we see that Adele has taught Rob how to do this. This is when I immediately knew what the fuck was gonna happen. Because everyone's all, oh, this is like the best twist they've ever seen. It's unbelievable, shocking, shocking, shocking. Hell no. Cop that shit, episode five. So you can see that Rob and Adele now possess this power. I don't even, first of all, the fact that the first three, episodes, three to four episodes don't even mention this shit means it's lazy storytelling and they wanna surprise your ass with this twist. So I already know right there what's gonna happen. And if you don't, come on, come on. So there's a point in time where Rob and Adele, you see the lights go up out of their body and they come back and it's like, oh my God. And Rob's so fascinated by this. And meanwhile, he's also telling Adele how much of a life he's jealous of her because she's living in this rich mansion, even though half of it burned down and she got, she wasn't waking up because she was in this deep sleep. At the end of episode five, we see that Rob in present time is dead. He is pushed down a well, which further confirmed what I had already thought. 
which is Adele, is not Adele. Adele is Rob. That's my guess, and if you don't believe me, I told my girlfriend before the end of the episode six what was going to happen, and I was right. So episode six comes along. Mind you, Louise and David have had a falling out because Adele was able to spy on them while they were having sex, having marital affairs, because she she saw in her sleep and she can go anywhere she wants. But they don't explain, it's just this power, like I don't get this power. It was never explained how she was able to get this power. So that cr cr creates, you know, tension between David and Louise. They break up through some dialogue Louise and I think Louise figures out what Adele is capable of as far as the sleep thing because she can also do it. She was figured out how she could go and do whatever she wants while she's sleeping. She can do whatever she wants. So she's figured out she's figured out this power. So the last episode is Louise basically telling David she knows how to do this. She knows what's up with Adele. She doesn't know about Adele and Rob or Adele being Rob at this point. But through some dialogue, she like wants to, she like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just very stupid actions of her. She tells David what's gonna happen. She said Adele admitted that she killed Rob. So David is like, oh, I'm gonna go to the cops and go back and finally tell the truth of what happened that night. But then Louise calls Adele. She's like, I know you're here watching me. Adele calls her. And then she tells Adele what the fuck she's gonna do. She tells her the plan. Why are you doing that? That makes zero sense. Then we see Adele be like, I'm gonna kill myself. So she shoots herself with some heroin after starting a fire in her house. Louise decides to go to the house because she's afraid that Adele's trying to kill herself. So fire is going on. Adele's not waking up. Louise is pounding. She's trying to get in. She can't get in. What does she do? She puts herself to sleep. Why? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. She puts herself to sleep. Her little ball of light goes out of her. She goes up through the house and she sees Adele. Meanwhile, we know this Rob, who was in Adele, has put himself to sleep. So his ball of light's chilling in the corner. And then his ball of light goes down and goes inside of Luis's body, making Luis's little soul ball go into Adele's body. So the big twist, Rob was inside of Adele and Rob is now inside of Luis. If they had, what's the word here? If they had explored this kind of thing in the beginning of the series, it would have made more sense and it wouldn't have come out of absolutely nowhere to absolutely insult the viewer because that's what it does. And if you don't agree with me, I don't know what to tell you because you can't just have this big ass twist without setting up things or setting up the, the rules of the environment or of the world that we're watching. And if this, is the only person in the world who's able to do this and is able to teach this kind of stuff, we should have been able to see that. It also, there is a little clue, some clues here and there. We see that Rob likes heroin and shoots himself up in the flashbacks. So when we see Adele have her own and she's gotten heroin now, that's a clue, okay? I caught that immediately. But in the very first episode, and this, I don't even know if this, please, if you know, let me know if any of you are still actually watching this because I don't get uh, views on here. I don't know if David knows if Ad Adele is David or I'm sorry. I don't know if David knows if Adele is Rob or not because it could go both ways because he's very controlling of, of Adele slash Rob with all the medication that he forces her to take. But I'm gonna say that he did know because at the end he comes back and he immediately wants to marry Louise who is actually fucking Rob. And that's the end of the series, they get married. And he, I'm thinking that David thinks that that is actually Louise. So he actually knew that Adele wasn't Rob, but they don't go into detail about that. So I guess it's up to the viewer if you want to believe that he knew or he didn't know. But like this amazing twist at the end, I don't know why you spent so much time in the beginning, three fucking episodes worth of nothing important to what happens in the end. You could have, this could have easily been a 90 minute movie. So should you watch this show? Nags bro nags, absolutely not unless you already have because it's been out for a little bit and it was trending. And by the way, the trending on Netflix, one out of 10 is usually good. Anyone watch Deadly Illusions? Worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, what did you guys think of Behind Her Eyes? Did you see it? Are you gonna watch it even though I spoiled it for you? Did you not want it spoiled? Also, I said about a timestamp earlier, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want anyone to watch this. This is a waste of time. I'm gonna catch you next time. Shits.